Hello, my name is Maya Hara. I'm the Japan Foundation Curatorial Assistant for Japanese Art. Yokoso. Welcome to our virtual gallery. Today, I'm here to introduce the 17th century calligraphic work by the courtier Karasumaru Mitsuhiro. You may have seen this calligraphy in the tea room in the Japan galleries on the second floor. I chose this hanging scroll to share with you as it seems to be a timely work as we shelter in place. Here, I would like to briefly introduce this piece in the context of its use in the tea room and its contents. Imagine yourself as a guest invited to partake in a bowl of matcha or powdered green tea. The calligraphy is meant to set the tone of the gathering. As a guest, one of the first things you will see when entering the tea room is the calligraphy in the tokonoma or the oko. The guests not only view the calligraphy, they also bow to it as a sign of respect to the calligrapher and to the spirit in which the work was written. The guests can also admire the powerful or sometimes delicate brushwork of the calligraphy as well as the elaborate silk or brocaded mounting framing the work. Often, a single lined Zen phrase, like the one on the left, can be seen hanging in the alcove. But today, we have this letter by Karasumaru Mitsuhiro, who was recognized as one of the greatest calligraphers of his time. This letter was written to his younger mentor, the Rinzai Zen priest, Ishi Bunshu. The letter includes a poem and words of concern over the monk's frail health. Mitsuhiro writes, my body is suffering from cold, which is worse than the heat. I'm concerned that you are now in an area known for even worse winter weather. Although somber in tone, the expression of care towards a close friend is more than palpable in this letter. The letter also echoes the sentiments of our staff. Though we are now apart, we hope that you are well and hope that we see you again soon. Thank you. Arigatou gozaimasu. Thank you.